Data serialization languages are an effective way to exchange semi-structured data across systems. Using standardized, well-documented syntax, these languages allow data to be shared across systems with different underlying infrastructure, such as between a mobile device and website. When data is stored, it is written in plain text. This has several benefits. The data is easy to read using standard text editing tools, it is typically human-readable, and because the format is relatively simple, data serialization readers and writers can be implemented on hardware with minimal processing resources such as IoT devices and microcontrollers. For software developers, data serialization languages are particularly important because they can be used to write data stored in memory to a file, then sent to another system, and then parsed and read in again. The sender and receiver don't need to know details about the other system, only the serialization language used. Let's look at three commonly used serialization languages. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, was one of the first languages to receive widespread support. Parsers for it can be found for most popular development platforms. XML relies on tags surrounded by angle braces, and as a result, the data is somewhat verbose. JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, has a lightweight specification and relies on curly braces to indicate data structure. Compared to XML, it is less verbose and easier to read by humans. It is very popular with developers and is frequently used today by REST services to return data. YAML, or YAML Ain't Markup Language, is a relatively new language that's quickly growing in popularity, in part due to its human friendliness. The data structure is defined by line separation and indentation and reduces the dependency on structural characters like parentheses and brackets. Data serialization languages like XML, JSON, or YAML all help you transfer data quickly and easily between different systems and processes.